Hello everyone, welcome to another Gaming Brothers video. My name is Justin and today we're going to show you a little tutorial. Now, for some of you out there, I'm sure you have multiple computers, maybe, laptop, desktop, you know, or maybe you visit people that you have a computer and, you know, you want to kill some time. You want to play Minecraft, let's just say. But you don't have all of your Minecraft saves with you, like, you know, I mean, you play on a server, that would be great. You know, you can do that, but you don't carry all of your single-player games with you. They're saved in Minecraft at home. Well, do not fear, because I'm going to teach you today how to make Minecraft portable. That's right. You can just throw it on a flash drive, take it with you, and use it as if, you know, it was working in your house or whatever. Um, the neat thing about this is, of course, you can just take it wherever you want, you know and you don't have a problem with it. Consequently, you also tend to make backups of all your stuff, so that's nice too. Anyway, so what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to go and get all of your saved stuff. So, obviously, if you're familiar with any Minecraft tutorials, it's percent app data percent, and we're going to go there. We're in roaming, like that. Let me see, we've got the dot Minecraft folder. So, here's my little flash drive. Got you a little flash drive just so I can uh, demo this easily. Um, just a flash drive I had lying around the house. So, I like to make, you know, a folder called Minecraft. Just to keep it all kind of connected together. And in that folder, I make um, one folder called data. And one folder called bin like that. Now, within those two folders, in the bin folder, we're going to actually go and grab, you know, an actual Minecraft EXE. I happen to have one right here. So, we drag that into the bin, so then we have your Minecraft EXE in there. This works with any version, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then, after we've done that, we go to, you know, app data and get your .minecraft. That goes in the data folder, just like that. It'll take a while to copy over. It's, you know, it's not terribly large, but this flash drive is probably pretty slow. Not a huge deal. It only takes a few seconds. If you have a couple seconds to wait, you can wait. Not a big deal. So we're just going to let that copy for just a second. And after this is done copying, what we're going to do is we need a way to, you know, when Minecraft launches by default, it automatically assumes that your app data folder is where your saves are and everything. So we have to kind of spoof it into thinking that you know, that's where it still is. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go into Notepad real quick. Open up, you know, a new text file. And we're going to make a batch file so we can spoof it. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to say set app data app data like that equals percent cd percent and that's basically saying change directory to the directory that I want um, and that's going to be in slash data just like that basically we're telling it hey the dot minecraft folder is not in app data it's in this new folder called data pretty easy and don't worry this does not alter anything in your system it just runs the batch file for this specific command and once it's done it's done and it doesn't screw up anything so not to worry there. Um, so next what we need to do is we need to tell it where the Minecraft EXE folder is, or the Minecraft application, Minecraft.exe. So we're just gonna go a uh, bin. Oh god, okay. keep doing forward slash. Um, I think I was on Linux or something. Um, and then we do bin slash Minecraft.exe to tell it, hey, go here to get the get this um, Minecraft. So that's it, just like that. We're going to go ahead and file, save, control S, whatever you want to do, under our little flash drive, 
what we're going to do is we're going to change this to all files and you're going to call it portable minecraft.bat make sure it's a .bat file bat files are windows batch files and that's what it recognizes so make sure you call it a .bat file um, portable minecraft you can call it whatever you want that's what I call mine so we're going to go ahead and save and bam there is our portable minecraft batch file so when we run this it's going to assign that to this and it's going to bring up your minecraft notice my internet is not working right now I decided to record a video because I'm not able to upload anything right now I went a little stir crazy decided to record some stuff so here you go it's broken that's still I can still log in and do well I can still play offline so yeah broken sadness so we'll just go ahead and play offline just to show you that it does work um, and I don't have any saved games on this other than just a test world so we'll just go ahead and sel play the selected world um, so here it is we are in Minecraft and this is actually running on the flash drive um, I will tell you that I don't recommend just running it on a flash drive it will glitch out pretty hard Minecraft does lots of read and write from the disk while it's performing and so typically you do end up running into some issues with some performance problems not so much here underground I'm in a tiny cave you know yada 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 but on the surface it does screw up pretty hard um, so I would recommend just um, taking this little minecraft folder that we've made you know here and you can just drag it you know drag and drop copy it to your desktop it only takes a few seconds um, once it's there, you can run it just like I ran it before. Bring us up that. You log in, you know, if I could log in properly. And Minecraft's there. We still have our test world. So, now, once you've done this, to make sure that it doesn't get a little kind of screwy, because sometimes it gets a little screwy, um, what I like to do is I like to go to my flash drive, I like to delete this, or you can call it Minecraft old, whatever you want to do, consequently this is also a good way to make a backup of your entire Minecraft, because it's all in a nice little folder. So you can call it Minecraft old, whatever you want, I delete them, because I'm a rebel, and I just drop the, the new one, which has been altered obviously since I played the game, I just load that whole folder back up on here. Maybe that's not the most efficient way to do it, but it keeps you from copying files and getting all kinds of mixed up. Um, you know, so I do it this way. Um, if you happen to be playing any kind of hardcore Minecraft and you die, of course, it will delete your save. So if you try to copy this back on, your save will magically be there because it won't ever overwrite the file on your flash drive. Just as a precaution. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. Um, that's kind of a basic tutorial on how to do that. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments. This is specifically for Windows. Um, I could do one for Linux. I don't have a Mac, so I can't really do one for Mac. Uh, but I could do one for Linux if you guys really want to. Uh, but that's about it for this. Um, anyway, so if you have any comments, just leave them below. Ask me any questions you want. Uh, this does work with mods as well. Um, and I might, if if you guys want, I can show you with mods. Uh, I <clears throat> I use a mod loader sometimes to load all of my mods on, and um, that does work as well, which is kind of cool, um, because you can actually make a batch file to, you know, boot up um, your mod loader and make it recognize that the Minecraft. Um, file is in this folder and recognize that the app data, you know, you just add on to the batch file we made. So, anyway, if you like this, just leave me a like, maybe, if you want to, please, maybe, huh? Just let me know that you like it. Um, and if you have any questions, just make sure you ask. And that's pretty much it.